الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد <تصفيق> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of upset. I haven't, I haven't processed the fact that Ramadan's already over. It was just such an amazing experience, and it's crazy to me how it's all over. No more iftar, is no more hanging out at the masjid. I don't know. Eid's tomorrow, and I want to be like happy for Eid, but I'm just really sad that Ramadan's gone. I was talking to one of my friends about it though, and he told me it was like. What is there to be upset about, right? You've gotten to experience Ramadan, alhamdulillah. You've done your part, you've put in the work, you know, and inshallah Allah accepts. And that's as much as you can really do. So with that being said, there's about an hour left till Ramadan's officially over. Obviously, the sun is still out, but Ramadan is over in, in less than an hour. That's crazy. I'm gonna take you guys with me though tomorrow for Eid because we got some pretty exciting things planned and I wanna take you guys with me. About to show off the Eid outfit, about to get lunch for the first time in a month. Um, we're going on a boat ride. It'll be a good day, inshallah. But we're gonna end off Ramadan right. I'm gonna finish off my khatm of Quran, make some dua, and then welcome Eid. So Maghrib is at 8.20. Ramadan is really almost over. Oh, there it is. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. I just finished my khatm. Made some dua. Weather's nice. Man, it's really Eid. Let's go! Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak. I'm so excited. Um, kind of in a rush because my mom's yelling at us to leave because uh, Eid Salah is in a bit. But it's Eid, it's Eid. I'm super excited. I'm going to take you guys with me. It's going to be a good day, inshallah. Let's get going. Right after Ramadan, and the brothers are already going to the bar. Astaghfirullah. Still block. Here too. This is good. Oh, look at how good looking this man is. Mashallah. Oh my God. Allah man his head on camera. Uh huh. Hello. So we're back home, alhamdulillah. The boat ride was amazing. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. Um, we're supposed to go to a park in a bit, but it's absolutely pouring, like buckets outside. So I don't know what we're gonna do here. I'll just show you guys. I mean, you can kind of tell, but yeah, it, it was it was even worse earlier. So I don't know. If, so I don't know if we're still gonna go to the park, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. I feel like it might just be me, but I feel like Aid is ain't really the same no more. I was thinking about it though, and honestly. I don't know, I was just being really kind of down and negative and oh, it's just not the same anymore and I was always looking at like the negative side of things. And then we were we were driving home and again, it was pouring outside. And as we're driving, there's this man like on his bike, right? Like next to us, biking in the pouring rain. And I just watched him for a second and I was like, dude, like what am I complaining about? Like what do I have to complain about? It's Eid, I'm with my friends, I'm with my family. I have a car, I have a roof under my head. I don't know. Honestly, life is life is great, alhamdulillah. It really is. You, you have to force yourself to look at the positives. And that's something I really, really need to work on. You know, instead of <sighs> focusing on like the one thing that's missing in your life or whatever, and then ignoring all the insane amount of blessings that, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. So alhamdulillah, honestly, I'm, I'm grateful 
for, for, for it being Eid, for having you guys, for having friends and family today. Yeah. Ah! I didn't, I didn't mean for this to get, like, really emotional, but I just, I had to mention it because I, I, I noticed it and I was like, seriously, more. I'm like, what are you complaining about? You have nothing to complain about. Let's enjoy this happy day. Oh, you know, we can't wait. Let's celebrate. Let's enjoy this happy day. This summer is back so many memories. What about that? What about that? What's the point of going to the bathroom to wash your hands? <laughs> <laughs> what the? So I went to Oregon is legit so bipolar. Like, was it not pouring rain like 30 minutes ago? Dude, we, I was 10 minutes ago. back from school and it was hailing. And then it got sunny and then it started raining. Every, all the girls are looking at you, just so you know. Smile, smile one more. Can we can we just admire something real quick? For the oh, oh gang gang. Uh, don't cap jit. Like Whole lot of gang. Uh, like give me your word. Give me your word. Uh, we got a nice shirt. Uh, yo, I don't even know. I'm getting used as a pawn. Hey, trying to pull these and I'm just Ooh. wearing these shoes. They're clean. Look at this. Uh, trying Look to get this. these girls, but they all leaving me on scene. Okay, uh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> they call me rich, but I'm broke to the fees. Oh my god. It, it, it just hurts to watch these guys. Uh, yo, uh, I'm getting drunk so much they call me Nick Bean. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wallahi, this generation brother is over. Uh, I'm trying to figure it all out, but I'm only 15. Playing tennis games in Ramadan and I can't even eat between. No, that, that, they were fired, dude. Give me some props. Oh my god. That I can't do. These videos are for the <laughs> Always doing the most with the camera, bro. <laughs> Always doing the most. Uh. Alright, does anyone? No, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Hey. Yo, oh, the shape dude. of them is like two planets. Dude, shut oh. up. What do you have to say for yourself? That was amazing. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to keep it peaceful, but everyone what do you always have to fighting. Say the camera? By the uh. way, guys, this is Omar. We Every know it's single... Ramadan when we see the moon sighting. Oh, my. What is this brother eating, huh? Uh. So we're back home, alhamdulillah. The park was a lot of fun. Um, messed around, played football, took pictures. It was a good time. Overall, I mean, I don't know. To be honest, I just, I just didn't feel like I eat. Like I know I'm kind of repeating myself from earlier, but I, I, I don't want to fake it to you guys either. Like I want to keep it real with you guys, you know, and not portray this image like oh, oh my god we you know we went to salah and then we went to the park and it was a great time and i'm so happy and <laughs> it you know it's not that i'm it's not that i'm not happy it's <sighs> honestly i don't know what it is and i don't know what's got me so upset especially on a day where you're supposed to be happy you know it might be the fact that ramadan's over it might just be something petty like seen everyone's I don't know I, I really don't know <laughs> and I want to like derive some sort of lesson from it so that this segment can have some sort of value but I'm just uh, am I just being am I just being annoying am I just am I just ranting for no reason I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna even include this whole segment but if I do it's because I do want to keep it real with you guys right I don't want to portray like this fake image of my life where I'm always really happy and successful and all this kind of stuff, right? In my in my vlogs where I'd go to school during Ramadan and whatnot, I, I showed you guys how stressful it was and how how overwhelming it could be, right? I don't want to portray a fake image of my life. And that comes with its consequences because people will look at you differently. People, because when you project your insecurities or, or you show your weaknesses, right? automatically people sometimes that they'll have less respect for you or they'll value you less because all of a sudden you've you've, you've kind of 
lowered yourself or you've humbled yourself in that sense. But if that's the price I have to pay to be transparent, you know, then that's fine because my life isn't perfect. I'm nowhere near perfect, you know? Sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm sad, sometimes I'm super productive, other times I'm lazy, sometimes I'm on my dean, other times I'm completely off. That's totally normal. So it's not fair to myself and it's not fair to you guys if I portray myself as this always happy, successful, super on his dean kind of guy. I, I guess there's the lesson that we derived from this. I'm really good at just pulling things out of thin air, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna take some more time to reflect and journal about it and kind of just get my thoughts down on paper because that usually helps a lot. Anyways, I hope that y'all had an amazing Eid, inshallah, an amazing Ramadan, and that we can keep moving forward. You know, that's that's the next step now. We're gonna get back into the gym, back into editing videos, finish school off strong, and just kind of get back on track. Take the things that we learned from Ramadan and implement them now into our daily schedule and just keep moving forward and keep improving every day. I love you guys. I'm wishing the best for every single one of you guys. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs, inshallah. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Wassalamu alaikum.